Today I am going to discuss King Fahad University of Petroleum and Mineral Scholarship. So let's get started. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to our channel. I am Muhammad Janid Anjum and today I will talk about King Fahad University of Petroleum and Mineral Scholarship. The scholarship offered by the King, Univers uh, King Fahad University of Petroleum and Minerals basically awarded under the Deanship Graduate Program. So let's give the basic introduction and go to the most important information. Uh, you need to apply for this application through online portal and before applying you need to have these documents. You need to have your passport and your complete official transcripts for bachelor's or master's degrees, statement of purpose, recommendation letters from three professors of your university, CV mentioning your educational and family and work background, and GMAT score if you are applying for MBA program. And other supporting documents are you know the certificate of BS and MS degrees and IELTS and TOEFL language exams, acceptable regional exam course and uh, upon approval you need to send your certificate copies through courier to the university. Application deadlines are basically uh, applications are opening from January 25th to February 11th. 2021 you need to complete your online recommendation before 18 february 2021 these are the deadline basically now what programs they are offering let's have a look on that they are offering a lot of programs like you can see aerospace applied statistics uh, architectural engineering and these are the other programs but you need to focus that uh, for example, Aerospace Engineering is only offering MSc and uh, there are some other programs which are just offering MSc and PhD. You need to see these things before applying to the specific program. For example, you did not see the program what they are offering and you applied maybe your application will be filled wrongly. So you need to thoroughly consider this page. You need to see uh, whether your research topic is available in this university or not, whether your program is available or not, or the level of the degree, for example, master's or PhD programs is available in this university or not. Before applying, you must see these things. Uh, degree descriptions are basically doctor of philosophy, dissertation based and Master's of Science thesis based, Master of Engineering non-thesis, Master of Business uh, Administration is basically non-thesis, Master non-thesis master's program. So here is the difference between the MSc and Master. Master is basically non-thesis master program and MSc is basically thesis based master program. So you need to consider these things before applying. So Next thing is how to apply online. It is very simple. They gave the step by step procedure in their website. For example, first of all, you need to initiate form for the eligibility check. You need to provide some information to check whether you are eligible for this program or not. Then choose the program you want to apply. Create a username and password and verify your email through email address you have provided for creating your username and password. After that, you need to log in with your credentials you have given here in this step. And then you need to choose the semester you wish to come. Now, after that, you need to give your uh, personal information. You need to enter your previous uh, educational background and you need to give your recommendation letters from the professors and 
here is the upload section you need to upload your documents here and uh, after submission updating upload documents and tracking recommendation and after the application you can update your documents or uh, track the application through this page don't pay attention to these uh, deadlines here uh, because they did not update it this portion yet so let's move on what they are covering in their scholarship and what type of scholarship they are offering you uh, basically uh, they are offering scholarship to those students whose gpa is three out of four and uh, they are enrolled for the full ms or phd scholarship uh, phd program or studies and they will give you and research assistantship if you are applied for master's program and if you are phd student then they will give you a lectureship they will give these opportunities to those to those students who are outstanding in their bachelor's studies and phds who are good in their bachelor's and master's studies and there are an other type of uh, lectureship which is lecturers b they need to spend up to 50 percent of their time sporting teaching and 50 percent of their time for their respective program they are studying what will it cover it will cover the tuition fee it will give you a monthly stipend it will give you free furnished uh, air conditioned bachelor housing, essential medical care, free textbooks, subsidized meal in the university cafeteria, a chance to participate along with the university faculty in the research and book writing, project funded by the universities, a prepaid air passage for initial travel to Dhamam and the start of the contract, and a return ticket after. Uh, his completion of the degree uh, these are available for research assistant and lecturers b other benefits are also available depending upon the university pol policies uh, once you have you have admitted to the university you can ask to the international of, uh, office what other benefits you can avail from this uh, lectureship or assistantship so i hope it is a good scholarship if you want to pursue your education and also uh, want to have an experience of teaching and research assistantship, they are giving you both opportunities. They are giving you experience and also giving you the benefits of scholarship. And third thing, they are also offering you a degree. I mean, you are spending three years there for example and they are giving you degree in these three years they are giving you the experience of uh, research assistantship or lecturership and also giving you the scholarship i think it is a great opportunity for you to avail this but the main thing is you need to fulfill the criteria for the uh, language exam and degree exam these are the most important things you need to focus on before applying this scholarship. If you did not prepare yet for the TOEFL or IELTS exam, you should start preparing and give the exam as soon as possible and also give the exam for free. I think these type of opportunities would not be in vain if you are preparing so hard for these exams. So I hope you like this video and if you like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe our channel, hit the like button, hit the bell icon and share this video with your other friends that might not seen this video yet and maybe this video might be helpful for them. Stay connected with us. See you in the next video. Allah Hafiz.